Hey there guys, Matt here from Mantic. So today I am bringing you a quick tutorial on how to paint leather. So today we've got this Basilean crossbowman. We're going to be painting the boots of his, his uniform in a nice warm leather. So to begin we're going to put a dark base down and then we're going to start highlighting up through a, an orangey brown and then finally up to a really light pale colour just for the scratches. So to begin with, we're going to start with a mix of charred brown from the Vallejo game colour range and a little bit of matte black. This will just give us a real nice dark dark brown colour to work off of. You can use any sort of dark brown for this if you have a darker one in your range. Or just take any nice medium, maybe slightly desaturated brown, just add a touch of black to it. I'm just going to get a good solid base down on these boots. If you're interested, this miniature holder is a prototype from Redgrass Games, as is this size 2 brush. This size 2 brush is available on the website, but this is still a prototype just finished on Kickstarter. It's important to get a good solid base down first. Okay, so now we've got a good solid base for them boots down. What we're going to do is we're going to add a small about beastly brown from the Vallejo game colour range. What this will do, this just adds a slight orange tinge. And we're going to start picking out the higher areas of the boot, so particularly along the, the brim at the top. Now you're working on areas where the light catch, also areas where the leather will wear. So, particularly down the front of the boot, across the top of the instep, where the leather would crack. Okay, so that's the first highlight down, so what I'm going to do now is keep adding small amounts of the beastly brown to my base colour. So this will be the second highlight now. You see that's slightly, a slight touch more orange to it now. Now switched over to a size one brush from Artis Opus. Now you can see we've started to get some nice colour variation into that leather. We're going to go in with a straight Beasley Brown now. I'm going to be a little bit more sparing with this highlight. You can also start to stipple this from this stage onwards. Stippling is just adding very small dots. Just add a touch of texture rather than just straight highlights. Just very gently with the tip of the brush. Just add a little bit of texture. You want to add a bit of texture to leather as it's a natural product. It's not going to be smooth in all areas. 
particularly on the light areas because that's where the leather is worn. So now we're going to start moving into the final highlights where we start putting some scratches in. So now what I'm going to do is to the beastly brown I'm going to add some pale sand. Again you can do this with any sort of uh, ivory sort of colour or it's best not to go with pure white as um, it desaturates the uh, it will desatur desaturate the brown a bit too much for my liking anyway. So now I'm going to do you know just add some very small Scratches and lines to the leather, and all go the same way. And you can add some little dots. Not needs to look too uniform. You can really start to see the worn effect when you start adding these little scratches and just little dots in. It's a great technique for leather bags, coats, um, trousers, I suppose, anything that's made of leather, quivers, good for this technique. Again, if you don't fancy doing an orangey leather, you can do a red leather. The difference is, is rather than using the beastly brown, I'd add a reddish sort of brown into maybe mahogany. Or um, cavalry brown from the Vallejo range. But the process is the same. Now, finally, I'm going to take some pure pale sand, a very, very small amount. Just making some extra light scratches. Some other areas. This is just a quick tabletop sort of standard. If I was um, wanting to go a bit higher with this, what I'd do is I'd add a couple of glazes with the medium sort of browns just to uh, pull these back slightly. But for a tabletop standard, this is good enough. And if you're doing these tiny scratches, you wouldn't see them from two, three foot away. They're very, very small increments in colour. Good enough there. So there you go guys so it's just a quick tutorial like I said it's a very very quick technique just adds a little bit of texture to the model just makes it look like a little bit like worn level like I say if I was going to go a bit higher than that what I'd do is I'll start using some glazes now to bring them back in again maybe again going with some more small scratches just over the top but I hope you got something from that guys, I hope you liked that, just another quick tutorial there, and uh, we'll be doing some more of these soon. See you soon guys.